welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is mila and let's get right into it so this vlog we're gonna be doing a, a few different things so today is saturday and today is my day where i just do what i want it's just an effort type of day so today i'm gonna go get a pedicure um i think i might go to the mall as well because i have to go exchange something and then i'm gonna go take myself out for lunch and i'm gonna bring my computer and my planner with me because i have some things that i want to get done while i am at lunch so i'm getting ready to head there now i already went to the gym this morning your girl has been going to the gym on the weekends and honestly i don't mind it because it, it makes i i feel like it makes me it motivates me to have a productive weekend. Sorry, I'm just putting on some socks. Um, but yeah, it motivates me to have a productive weekend instead of just, you know, using the weekend to like lounge around. I feel like it puts a pep in my step. So I've been liking going to the gym on Saturdays. Um, yeah, it's been great so far. So I've been going to, this is my second week that I've been going to the gym for four days out of the week. And I'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving it i'm loving it it's awesome it is awesome so i'm just packing a bag really quick my computer and my planner and um yeah my mask can't forget my mask i think the mask thing is like gonna be over i think june 11th here in um in toronto so that would be that would be nice that'll be awesome 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 <laughs> Ew, so i can't wait so honestly like i've just been i know everyone's really into this soft life and soft life so i'm living a soft life the softest life that i could possibly give myself so aside from that i think next week i'm gonna go get a facial and I have um, a brunch date with Marcy. I'm so excited for it because we've been trying to go to brunch for like two, three weeks now. And it's just not been working out. But I want to get out. And I feel like I haven't gotten cute in a minute. I've just been in a rut. I don't know what's been going on with me. But I've just been in a rut. I think it's because more like I'm just really focused on like certain things right now in my personal life and um when the time comes i'm gonna share it with y'all because you know i'm just like i'm really like i don't like sharing things while i'm in the process of working on them i like to share my results you know what i'm saying but i would definitely let you guys know what it was like leading up to the results right but yeah so i've just been really focused on myself and just like my growth and just building and things that i need to do for my future self so that's where my mind is at right now and at times I know it can get a little for me personally like I, I know I can kind of just like lock everybody out while I'm doing that and it's it's really not good I'm really trying to learn to find a balance between like you know work hard and play harder because life is too short you gotta enjoy the fruits of your labor before you know it it and the time is gone right so i'm just gonna go get out and i'm gonna go enjoy myself i um completed a goal this week and i'm very proud of myself so i'm taking myself out on a little date ski i was gonna get cute and i, I need to do my eyebrows too so like that's part of the reason why i just feel like i can't be getting cute right now because the brows need to be waxed so i was gonna get cute but the weather has been very up and down up and down like it's 20 degrees right now outside but it's also gloomy because it's supposed to rain and i think it rained this morning i don't know i think it's like um three o'clock now i think it rained this morning i really don't know but yeah it's supposed to be raining like on and off throughout the day and tomorrow as well and then i just thought about I wanted to go on a patio, but it's not nice enough for me to do that with my computer. It's going to rain. I don't want to get electrocuted. So I just figured, you know what? Let me just put on um, something comfortable because I know I'm going to dine indoors. And I don't want to be getting cold. And also, I'm going to get a pedicure. So something that could work so that I could lift up my pants to put in that water. Yeah. 
but i am gonna head out now i will see you guys in a bit oh, oh. solo date it was so amazing actually my waiter he was like amazing he was a really good waiter and we ended up chatting a bit when he brought me my bill he's just like you know i really commend you for what you're doing i really want to i really want to go out by myself but i just can't do it like how do you start and i'm like you just do it like you kind of just do it and then um yeah one thing led to another and he started talking about how he vlogs and i'm like really me too that's what i've been sitting here doing he showed me his channel i subscribed this boy has 400k subs i'm like oh you vlog vlog like and we have little old me over here talking about yeah i vlog yeah i vlog i don't care i'm gonna speak it into existence until i'm a big big vlogger you feel me so yeah we were just talking and he's just like you know like it's really great to find other creators in the city that we should connect and this and that and you know it was really random you know it was so random to just meet someone that is um you know a lot doing the same things in life that i'm interested in and whatnot so it was pretty cool but other than that i had a really great day today I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had, I had, I had a little buzz after I left. I had a little buzz from the drinks, and when I came home, I ended up falling asleep. I took a little nappy nap because I was, I was tired. I was feeling sexy. <laughs> I was feeling sexy. I, I got the um, what is it? A Mile High Bellini. I don't even know what's in it, but it, it tasted good. I had two of those. And then I got some coconut calamari. That was very scrumptious. I was not expecting it to taste as good as it did. And then I got this salad that had like salmon. That salad was just <laughs> muy bueno, right? That's what they say in Spanish, I believe. Yeah, so the salmon had sa um, the salad had salmon, shrimp, grilled pineapple, um. And then like some vinaigrette i don't know but it was really tasty like i would definitely go back and have that salad again like for sure but next time i want to go when it's nicer outside it did start raining while i was eating and whatnot which is a dub but i'm glad that i wore the tracksuit but because by the time i left it was actually pretty cold outside because of the rain but yeah so i am probably going to Cue up basketball wives because I love me a good basketball wives, housewives, anything with a wife in it. I'm about to cue that up and call it a night. Tomorrow is Sunday. I'm going to go to the mall, exchange a few things probably. And um, yeah, just set, set myself up for a good week next week. I got to book my facial appointment. Um... I, I I haven't decided what day I want to go. I gotta look at my schedule and see what's happening for next week and make a decision. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe not. I don't know. Depends on how my day goes somewhere. I might look at a camera. I might not. But I'm gonna see you guys in a few days or not or so. I don't know. <laughs> Good morning. Well, actually, it's afternoon. It's not morning anymore. But you get the drift. So today, I'm actually about to go and... God, this looks so dirty. Okay. Anyhow, today I am going to get a facial done. Because my skin has been dying for one. I haven't gotten a facial since last year. 
And I told myself that this year, I really want to get facials frequently just to enhance my skincare routine that I do at home. And my skin's been going through some shit. We've been going through some shit. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I've never been to um, this place before this i guess like spa i guess normally i go to this place called avita downtown i normally go there like once a year my mom and normally always gives me um, a facial either for my birthday or mother's day or whatnot so i've been going there for the last few years um but i decided i wanted to switch it up and i wanted to go somewhere that that I just want to go to and I want to go to somewhere that gives me the vibes that gives me luxury not just someone doing facials inside of like a hair salon or whatever because like Avita, Avita has a hair salon there but then upstairs there's um rooms for people to get facials done and there's like a pedicure manicure station as well that's cool and whatever but that's not it you know I'm not feeling that right now so um, yeah, I'm going to the Pamper Room. I've been following them. I noticed that this girl that I know had went there to get a facial done. And um, I was deciding between the Pamper Room and another esthetician. And I just decided on the Pamper Room because it's actually 15 minutes away from my house. <laughs> it's 15 minutes away, so it's not going to be so much of a chore to go there when I think about scheduling appointments for the future, right? So anyways, I asked her about her experience and she really likes it. Um, she said that the esthetician there, I don't remember her name, but I guess I'll meet her when I go there. She said that she um, is really good with working with um, black people and our skin type. So yeah, she said she saw some really dramatic and amazing results. So I can't wait. I'm so excited. My appointment is for 1230. I think it's like... 11 50 right now so i'm gonna like grab my jacket and go i don't really have on anything much today because it's raining again in toronto it's cold and raining so i decided to like just pull up my hair into this ponytail and i braided it really cute i just have on like um just have on a white tee and um these tights i think they're from um they're from ardeen yeah i love them they're like this lilac color they're super cute so i'm gonna wear this with my um with my air forces and my purse from shein and a jean jacket because it's pretty cold i was gonna wear a sweater because when i dropped the more off this morning it was like so cold and i had on my short sleeve jean jacket but now that it's afternoon it's warming up a little bit even though their severe thunderstorm warning, warning for the GTA. So I decided I'm just gonna put on my long sleeve jean jacket instead and keep it moving and keep it grooving. You feel me? So after that, I did wanna take myself out for lunch, but honestly, this seasonal tipsy, topsy turvy weather is just not working the best for me. I think I'm developing seasonal allergies as I get older. I don't know, but I don't feel great. And I really want some soup. But I already cooked for my second time for the week. I only cooked two times a week. I don't have no time for that shit. So I think I'm probably going to grab some soup from like a Jamaican food spot. Um, Yeah, on my way back. And um, yeah, that's what's going on today. We're just loving on ourselves. I might get flowers i'm not sure i'm supposed to get flowers i might get them either today or tomorrow i'm not sure but time's ticking and i gotta go so i'll see you guys later What are you doing?
doing now? Cleansing? No, just on washing. Okay. Yeah, I'm um, cleansing, but this one? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna... back home i'm gonna breathe like upside down but i'm back home now i went ahead and picked up a more from daycare my face has all types of scars on it from the extraction there's a few like blackheads and stuff like even on my lip i'm actually really sad about the one on my lip but honestly like i rather go through the scarring process and let my skin heal yeah so i rather have to go through the scarring process um than walk around with like blackheads and whiteheads and all types of yucky stuff in my skin but overall i loved going to the pamper room i will definitely go back i already have my next appointment booked for next month i'm so excited um she recommended that i get derma planning done to just um rid the dead skin and whatever facial like whatever like small facial hair i do have on my face because we all got some and i'm a little hairy bitch you know i'm a little coolie bitch so yeah <laughs> so um yeah so i have that booked for next month already i'm so excited she was so pleasant her name is susan the owner um so um i walked in there and um you have to remove your shoes and put on slippers that they have at the front and then um she just asked me what am i looking to target in terms of my skin so that she can know um what what products to use on me because i got a customized facial and um yeah so you go in the room um you take off your top and you put on like this um like wrap around towel kind of thing and you put on a, a headband around your around your hairline and whatnot and you lay on the table and it's actually her mom actually works there and she does skin prep before susan comes and does the actual like extraction and um high frequency stuff and all that good stuff right so yeah so her mom and i were there and we were talking she was doing all the skin prep and honestly like it was so i just really loved the whole aesthetic and ambiance in the spa like just the use of white throughout the spa just gave me peaceful vibes you know and it just the aura when you walk in you just feel it it just i when i was finished i felt pure bliss i felt so peaceful i want to go home and see even right now that's why i'm laying down in bed like i am tired right now like i'm go i'm definitely going to bed early for sure but yeah that was really really good and then i know i, I wanted to go get jamaican food after but the place i want to go to is actually closed like permanently i see i saw it on um google and i'm like what the heck so there were none in the area so i just went to panera bread up the road and whatnot and yeah i had a sandwich and a soup and i enjoyed it whatevs but um yeah overall good day today i'm so excited ah, oh my gosh so happy but i didn't get the flowers so i gotta go get the flowers um tomorrow and um yeah start getting myself ready for the weekend because this weekend is gonna be i'm gonna have a good weekend but i'm kind of booked up this weekend yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that girl that bitch <laughs> i gotta stay off of tiktok but i'm gonna go and get some dinner and i'll talk to you guys later